Alright guys, and we are back with more Sonic 5 Royal where are we left off. Today was a very crazy day. But uh we actually have a Sunday because they made us lose our last well I said lose our Sunday, but we still have our Sunday. Because I was talking I was thinking about today, but we clearly can do something. And the, the fact of the matter is the fact that Oh. Hmm. Okay. Seeing that seeing that name makes everything justified. We haven't had a good Sunday in quite a while, but the fact that I can hang out with him, we could potentially get charm in the midst of hanging out with him. So what I'm going to do Ooh. I got the mega fertilizer. And I gotta, I gotta do something with my flowers now. My flowers are starting to grow back. Or whatever. Yeah, I gotta do something about that. Oh, that was a lot. Just imagine if we boosted that. Yes. Just imagine if we boosted that. All right. So since we know that we are going to hang out with my boy, the goat, good old Toranosuke. Tor we are going to boost up our charm. Damn, her ammo machine. Jesus. What shall we do? Uh, baby. We're gonna go for charm. Because because remember I did this earlier, but we didn't get charm out of it, which kinda hurt my heart, but I know I remember you getting charm from hanging and hanging out with him. I'm not remembering that for no reason. I have a ridiculous memory. What do you think? So I know that I'm not just... I'm not... God damn. I had to... This, this man with these pictures, bro. Like, I be having to look. Damn, but it's like three people here. But... <laughs> I had to look. I was like, oh. Yo, who is that? What? What is that picture? I just see... I just see two anime pictures. I'm like, damn. But um, so let's let's go ahead and hang out with my boy. Facing civic disorder and economic uncertainty, our citizens are in turmoil. It's imperative that we resolve the situation, and social reform must be led by the government. However, who can the people currently depend on? Look what he says, and y'all wonder why I'm calling this man the goat. The fact that they're being lionized is proof. Proof that the government is malfunctioning. The mismanagement by authority figures is what has led us to this terrible condition. Wow. Good evening. You good. What kind of friends do you spend your time with? You can withstand difficult times if you have friends who support you through them. That's crazy because uh, talking to uh, Mark, was talking to. Uh, Macaro about a support, uh, uh, a little support thing. I almost said support section because of Trails from Zero. God damn it. You know what I mean. By the way, what's your opinion on our, our current government? I feel that they're wrong, so I plan on addressing that during my speech. If like to listen to it, I give you my honest opinion. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I feel That's my dog right there. Everyone. The conviction of a government is often tested during times of turmoil. However, the current administration refuses to discuss their plans for the future. Can we really accept such an utter lack of transparency? I've been hearing this type of criticism about the government a lot lately. That's because Dr. Shido has been gaining popularity by saying the same thing. So he's just echoing another politician's criticism of the government? Apparently, whatever. So first you stole party funds, and now you're still an idea is no good to <laughs> you say oh I didn't even realize this is your sheep tractor. Oh my god, that is hilarious. Stop talking out big, you ex convict. Hmm. It seems I've drawn the ire of the audience once again. So he's claiming those who have made mistakes in the past 
shouldn't get a second chance. What can I say to that? Stop interrupting. What was that? You got something to say to me, kid? Yup. What's wrong with this kid? Listen to what he gotta say. Are you little punk? Yes, I am no mentor. And I've made mistakes. Yes, I'm unpowered and powerless. But that is nothing with my arguments. Things I learned from all my hardships. Yes. You can ridicule me all you want, but I will gonna oppose what's wrong with this world. Get that shit, bro. Uh. Today's speech ended up being filled with a lot of passion. Quite unexpectedly, I might add. The highlight, though, was your yelling. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help myself, man. <clears throat> I envy you. Conveying your thoughts with such conviction. I wish I had done that in the past. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's all for today. Wow! He's a detractor, but he comes out of nowhere and tells us we're amazing? Huh? I've been wrong this whole time. Oh, okay, I see now why. I see why now. Even though someone has failed in the past, it doesn't mean they can't try again. Bro. That's all I want to say. You. Oh, hey, please wait. Thank you. Thanks. That's all I want to say. Oh my god, bro. I I swear to God, I'm pretty sure I've said it before. Like I I lost it on oh, maxing this man out. I lost it. I lost it, bro. You're strange, just like that kid. Like, I don't know, and I don't know why. Like, every time I think about maxing him out, I, I get I get sad. I have a bad habit of getting flustered when someone says, when someone calls me no Victoria. But you see me as someone of value. So I refuse to cower to criticism in front of you. <laughs> Today you taught me that I must have more confidence in my heart. Like, I use that word a lot, conviction. And, like, that is, he's literally conviction. Right. Embody. Embody conviction. My way of thinking changes when I'm with you. Perhaps it's the influence of your youthful spirit. My apologies. That seems we're out of time. But what do you know? <laughs> All right. I shall ask you again another time. Good work today. I'll see you again soon. So we didn't get three on charm, like oh. well, hello, thanks for all the hard work today. Thanks to you, I remember something very important. Now that I think about it, ever since the scandal, I felt alone and helpless, like the whole world was against me. Perhaps I got too used to the constant judging and critique. But I realized I overlooked something crucial. I've forgotten the people who support me and how support system. I don't know why I was about to say support section. <laughs> they trust is zero, that's why. And how encouraging it feels simply to be in their presence. Perhaps it seems too obvious or too true, but I hope you remember to cherish that too. I will. Good. Glad to hear you. Man, I fucked like this dude, bro. I'll engrave it into my heart. I can't let myself forget it again. <laughs> well, I'll be counting on you for my next speech, too. See you soon. You Whoa. Thank you so much for earlier that was today. Now, I can give it 110% tomorrow at practice. You're not going to rest? Nope, if I take a day off, it'll dull my senses. Next meet, I'll make it onto the winner's podium, I swear. I won't slip up again like I did before. I have some great news next time I see you, I promise. Looks like she's gonna be okay now. She had us worried. Alright. Hmm, it's red. Why is it red? That means we're not at school. Oh, today's the festival. What the? F okay, so yeah. 
that that stuff that just happened was new. Yukatas are a great part of summer tradition, and they make a motherfucker look good. I think I wear mine as well. You got one? How about you, Zay? Oh, I don't have one. Hey, I know. Why don't you come without your glasses? What's the point of that? I don't know. You don't get to see your eyewrights every day, so I, it'd be sad just wearing normal clothes. I was just thinking he might want to go for a change of pace. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, that sounds great. You should totally come without glasses. Well, oh, guys better not be late. <laughs> Even Lady On will be wearing one. Yeah. Hey, there is a fireworks festival today. You go and be careful. Those things are getting insanely crowded. I remember it being exactly that. It'd be nice to watch the fireworks with with Chief. Yeah, man. And it's making me think about the uh, the whole man. Cause remember it happened in Persona Four, and it's cause I don't even think Sojiro gets in on this. But at least Dojima got to see the fireworks with Nanako and everybody. So it's like, damn, you know. So I remember that. Like that was so cool. Uh, like the whole Doji, the, like Dojima and Nanako, he finally. Right, man. Right when we were just about to leave, too. Who is it? Ah, uh, shit, y'all know exactly what the fuck's about to happen, though. Yep, saw some disturbing news online. Figure it'll be really bad if it's true. It's about Medjid, y'all. Yeah, it seems like an insane group is getting ready to declare war on the Phantom Thieves. I was afraid to just hold on to that information myself, so I want to tell you at least. It's actually all I have to say though. Sorry to bother you in the day, huh? What could he mean by an insane group? Oh, we know. Mm. Well, let's think about this until <sighs> we get back. We don't have much time, so let's get going. Hmm. Damn, it's so hot. The holiday means it's as crowded on here as it is for morning rush hour. Damn, look at the girl behind me. Today's train news. Today's headlines are Fireworks Festival tonight. Expect roads and transportation to be congested for the entire day. Sudden weather changes imminent. Be careful of sudden shifts in climate from afternoon to night. Wait, so all these people are going to the fireworks festival? Ugh, this should be fun. <laughs> hey, behind me look good as a bitch. Did you see the purple? Like, man. So oh, hi. <laughs> I feel like I'm being baked. Those girls are way too late. They must be taking time to put on the yukata. He looked clean. That's a thing. Okay. I don't have one. I just told you. Got clothes like yukata. Hey. Man. He looked way too normal. Man. Man. man, looking like June to me. from Persona 2. That's what they had to base him off of. There's no way. There's absolutely no way they didn't kind of base him off of June. We we don't know that yet. Are you going to the fireworks festival? That's right. Us too. Want to go together? Are we getting hit on? <laughs> Come on, let's go together. That sounds like Makata. To be a model, you look great in that Yukata. He does, I'm okay. Get around to pain, so can we just go with these chicks? Nah. We'll both apologize to the others later. That's enough. Whoa. You're disgracing your yukata. You should be more aware of your womanhood. Be like. Hmm. How could you? Why don't you go after them then? So those are the kinds of girls you like, Ryuji. Mm. Uh, well, uh, no, th th that's... <laughs> you know, Yusuke's such a pretty boy, but he is really missing out because of what he says. I guess. But he's more like a... Like since he says true his ideals. Definitely I more than somebody, somebody I know. <laughs> I heard that Ryuji's pretty much failed his exams. You just make a shit up. Oh. oh. Mona, you... you. <laughs> If we don't get going, <coughs> agreed. But man, you both look amazing in Yukata. <laughs> Talk about Japanese beauty, right? Oh. 
I see it. Damn, the little girl in front of her look like Monaco. What? What? Damn. So sad. See them legs, girl. Yeah. Where? Where? Why are they looking like that? Come on. Looks like you need help. Then yeah. why don't you go buy me a towel already, huh? <laughs> Look at that big old forehead. Know who that is. Yeah. We're just trying to get out of the rain, but look how crowded it is. I guess everyone had the same idea. What's up? Hmm. I just saw someone I know. You mean the girl in that black car? Well, she's got a ride. Oh, time to show your skills, Mona. That's my she has a car. <laughs> it's not possible in the real world. <laughs> My feet hurt. It's cold. The festival's been canceled. This sucks. Oh, this sucks. Such a commotion with the public. This is what we get. <sighs> Lame. Aren't heroes that lurk in the shadows being? Hey, what are you, boss? <laughs> what are you? Who are you, boss? <laughs> Change the world with a loud bang, like a huge firework. I like some yakuza would say. I'm gonna find someone bigger than Kanashiro that easily. <laughs> the rain is letting up. Though it's regrettable, we should go our separate ways for today. Yeah, let's go home. <laughs> so you won't tell me, no matter what. I have nothing more to say to you about that. I see. In that case, I have ways of making you talk. Wow. Huh. What's that supposed to mean? Thanks for the drink. She's so pretty. God damn. Hey, hey, we're not done here yet. She left. It's nothing. It's past closing time. Clean up the place. Regrettably, the cause behind oh, the recent psychotic breakdown incidents is still unknown. On to other news. The international hacktivist group Medjid has released a statement to the Phantom Thieves. Mm hmm? Sonic mm. is a bitch. These are the details <laughs> of the message that are posted on Medjid's website. To the Phantom Thieves causing an uproar in Japan. Do not speak of your false justice. We do not need the spread of such falsehood. We are the true executors of justice. <laughs> Phantom thieves again? However, we are magnanimous. <coughs> give you an Wonder what her palace will look like. Oh my gosh. If you agree to a change of heart, we will accept you as our own. If you reject our offer, the hammer of justice will find you. Justice, huh? We are Medjid. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Akechi-san, why do you think this announcement was made at this time? I don't know the details, but there's no doubt that they were provoked by the Phantom Thieves. Whether it's a sense of rivalry or a simple attention grab, given the recent trends, I cannot say. Regardless, it's quite a nuisance. A nuisance? Both Mejed and the Phantom Thieves are nothing more than groups that uphold an egoistic justice. A stupid thing they're getting riled up on. Phantom thieves, huh? What in the world are they? You know about them? You know about them? What are they stealing, though? We're still having trouble getting that part. Well, it's about time I go home. Make sure you lock the place up. Also, about the stuff in the fridge. Well, I guess it's fine. 
Just don't use too much of it. Huh? It's possible that more people like these will continue to appear due to their influence. In that respect, the Phantom Thieves face a very serious crime. I remember. Hackers declare war on the Phantom Thieves. This is getting insane. But why? Did the Phantom Thieves do something to them? That just is really scary. I'm looking forward to seeing how the Phantom Thieves will deal with it. Have a new message in the Phantom Thieves chat room. We gotta talk about Midget. You mean the last people online are going nuts over? Midget. He seems to come from one of the obscure guys from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. I saw the news too. For some reason they think we can false justice. Now then, what exactly did you want to speak about regarding Midget? Well, why don't we go at him as our next target? What a sudden suggestion. I mean, they're like bad hackers or something, right? Technically, they're crackers. Use the internet to illegally access and all your data. Medjet is an organized group of such people recognized by the larger international community. So they operate on scale. That makes them even bigger than Kamashira. Right? They said our next target should be Medjet. I wonder if the bad will get a hit if we put Medjet in. Alright. That would be impossible. It has it has to be a pseudonym. We don't even know how many people Medjet is. Um, when we get at least one member's info, are we try and look into it though? Even if we did, how would we discover their location? It's only confirmed presence of Medjet has been online. This is a greater problem than finding keywords. Unless you have any more ideas for Eugene. Hello? <laughs> Seems he has suggested this without putting too much thought into it. Come on, we can't back down now. People are all excited about it. Our reputation is going to plummet if we don't face this shit. That is true. If we remain silent, people will believe we simply chose to run away from them. Imagine that's publicly, after all. If they're criminals, we can. Yeah. If we don't have any other targets right now, either. Let's talk to Mashima tomorrow. This is more his. Let's do that. Awesome, Makoto. Try saying you your sister as anyone. It's highly unlikely, but sure. World class <laughs> target, huh? If we can change Medjed's heart, it'll most definitely affect Mementos. I forgot. Forgot to post the video, the photo I took. Oh wow, that looks amazing. Can't cap. Hey, not bad, right? I'm natural with this candy photography stuff. Right! I hope you for your sake yeah, was a, that that was intended to be candy photography. It's a shame about the rain, but at least it means today was a little more mem memorable. Yeah, but next time we we really can't miss the fireworks. Agree. Still, it was almost impressive how sort of the weather turned terrible. Perhaps one of us is simply fated to bring rain wherever he goes. Oh, I, I'm not gonna cut it. That's gonna have to be a thumbnail. Not gonna lie. And then Yusuke's in it too. You, I mean, you can't see Yusuke's face, but damn. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. I like the little new, the new little photo shit they're doing. Like that is so cool. I can actually leave. Can I actually leave? Can I actually leave though? Son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. But you know what though? I should write something. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, don't worry about it, Morgana. We 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 don't we will take care of It's crazy because it's like I think my proficiency is like very close, but we can't go anywhere, which is absolutely unfortunate. DVD. I done read so many fucking books. Wait, wait. Nah. Clean. Nah. 
I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking I might do this. Let's be real. Okay. It makes four. Oh, the rib. Damn, make all the fucking silk yarn. That's why. Yeah. All right. Let's see what happens. <laughs> wow, what an efficient use of materials. You ended up with even more than I expected. Yes. Come on, let me hear it. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Yeah. Is it Ben or Dylan? They said Dylan. I'm like Ben, maybe. Well then. Okay, let's go to bed. Yeet. Boom. All right, we back at school, bro. What? Tell me. Everyone's been talking about magic. What the hell is it? You don't watch the news much, do you? They're an international ne network of hacktivists. They target corporations doing shady business and cause chaos. The subway company server thing. That was magic, right? Trying to find, find out who caused the train accident. So they're good guys? Some liken them to digital Robin Hoods. But they also snoop through emails and destroy data. They're no better than criminals. Right. Like, the fuck are they talking about? Shit for shit equals shit sandwich. Wow. Imagine the last. They claim to be modern day Robin Hoods. They break all themselves. Here I was after there. Was, that was a text. <laughs> They're fighting Magic and Dex. The fan of these are amazing. I don't want to hear any. I don't want to hear about justice from hackers. Why? Right. That shit don't even go in the same sentence. I, didn't, I don't want to read that comment because that's some bullshit. So I spent long because it's interesting. Like, it's people like that, man. You're like, ugh. Our grades are out. How did I do? <laughs> I wish I could get in the top ten. People look at smart students differently. One will score again. I'm in the top ten. Hey, you got it, dude. You got it, dude. <laughs> so we got four. We got a four and like four threes. Focus on studying. Hey, it's not my fault my scores suck, right? It kinda is, bruh. It's your fault. You don't gotta throw the truth right in my face like that. Bruh. Anyway, <laughs> there's something more important here. Mishima, you wanna ask me something about the internet, right? Yep, I'm gonna be straight with you here. Do you know who Medjet is? <laughs> you weren't kidding about being direct. Well, I suppose the news about Medjet and the Phantom Thieves has caused quite the commotion. They started out as hackers of justice, but now they only look out for their own self-interests. That's all I know. They were the group I texted him about yesterday. I see. Sure, who actually belongs to Medjet? Well, things will be exciting this summer. It'll be the Phantom Thief's world debut, no? Dude. <laughs> I'll be rooting for the Phantom Thieves. I'll get the forum mobilized as well. Now, if we're done talking here, I really must be going. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> so, that was fruitless. Damn. I wonder if anyone else got any info. She was pretty useless. You guys get anything? I tried to ask my sister, but it seems she didn't know much about it. She doesn't specialize in cyber kind of I tried looking into them, but I didn't come up with anything. They're just really are no leads. My opponent is truly elusive. No luck. Medjet, huh? It seems like we won't be able to deal with them by ourselves. <clears throat> I know summer vacation is due to begin next week. But I have an unfortunate announcement. We'll be holding an emergency assembly on Monday the 25th. Please come to school that day. <laughs> Settle down. Settle down. We've had many strange incidents. The psychotic breakdowns, students being dragged into crime rings. Hence, Principal Kobayakawa has instructed all teachers to caution the student body. Well, this is inconvenient for us too, you know, having to find things to warn you about so suddenly. How are we going to find Midget? I'm not sure. No matter how hard I look online, I'll have all the unreliable rumors. They've carried out corporate terrorism, yet they still managed to a little rest. And I'm sure it was a lot of trouble. This is turned out to be an even more greater deal. We buy more we can chew. 
Not sure. Right, there's no knowing who we're really up against until we see the full picture. We don't even know whether it's a single individual or a large conglomerate of people. And even if we do manage to get a lead, what do we do from there? Damn, this stuff's really not going so good. Probably why my exams are going to shit too. You know they're two separate things, right? <laughs> Damn. Damn, this stuff's really not going so good. That's crazy. Who's dead, huh? Her his shit at school, bro. Like that's cool, Ray. She on that mouth. We can't identify who it is. There's nothing we can do. Let's wait till they make a move. Can we talk? Yeah, Ryuji. That was good. Matter of fact, let me go to the restroom before we do that. My dog, I'll be right, right, right the fuck back, okay? I'll be right back. Not mind me. Don't mind me. Alright, let's check it in. Check it, check it, check it in. Somewhere close to knowledge. Somewhere close to charm. Definitely close to proficiency. Somewhere close to guts. Damn. Damn. Everything except for our uh, uh, kindness. Holy. Holy. What are we doing today? Um. Y'all know I fuck with Ryuji, right? Y'all know. Y'all know this. Y'all know this. So. <coughs> We're more than likely going to talk to Ryuji, so let's get it. I want to talk to you about something. You're the only one I can tell this to. About the track team. About me. Anyway, you free? My motherfucking dog. What's good? Thanks. So, you hungry? Here he go talking about ramen again. He dead ass made me ramen yesterday. Man, I'm stuck. Pretty damn good, huh? This one's on me, though. <laughs> Don't expect it to happen too often, though. Mm -hmm. This nigga. Huh? Wait, where's my wallet? Yo. Uh, whatever. <laughs> oh, by the way, I got a text from Takeshi. He said the track team's gonna try and ditch Yamachi. They want to start practicing without him. They're trying to get the old coach back, you know, the one from before Kamashita. So said they're finally walking their own path. Hey. You satisfied now? Hmm, yeah, I guess so. Actually. Oh, and uh, they asked me to come back to the team. Whoa. Let's say don't do it. Nah. Dude, I wasn't gonna. It felt kind of bad, but that's not where I belong now. When you first came to shooting, people were talking so much shit about you. You just took it in stride. You just did whatever you thought was cool and didn't care what other people said about you. I think that's why people kind of get pulled towards you, man. Wherever you decide to be, that's where you belong. You know, you're right. Hey. I got you so freaking cool. Wow. You know, back before I met you, I kept making excuses for why I couldn't fit in. It was always because of someone else. Kamashita, the track team. Hell, I even blame my dad. I was such a freaking loser. But I realize now, as long as I'm being myself, I'll always have somewhere I can fit in. It ain't really the same place as before, but it's damn good. I'm just glad I found it. I agree. <laughs> ah, it's up. It's up. It's up for Ryuji. <laughs> Don't worry, man. There's a place here for you, too. Right next to me. Or maybe ahead. Something like that. <laughs> Yeah, it's up for Ryuji. You heard that. I don't even think I heard well now. Nah. Kawakami, I did hear it. So, it's either gonna be Kawakami or it's gonna be Ryuji. They're both at nine. I ain't gonna stop training though. I still got a long way to go. Someday I'm gonna show you speed so light and fast, you ain't even gonna be able to see me. Bruh. Wait, but if you can't see me, am I really showing you anything? Eh, whatever. I think we've been talking too long. We're all out of Wanna try girl as a two picks? Bruh. Man, so he'll be the Flash. Yikes. Yo, get this. I just got a call from Nakaoka and earlier telling me that the track teams are officially going to be restored. 
they're apparently keeping Yamachi as their advisor for now, but it's cool. Sounds like they got him under control. Congrats. Thanks, man. I gotta pay you back. You can get some ramen on me. Then let's top it out with some seafood soup. Ooh, that sounds good. A toast to the success of the new track team. But yeah, we can't let the track team handle the rest of We can let the track team handle the rest of the problems. They gotta do the running from now on. I'm not gonna let my guard down now. I ain't about to lose to them. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go for another run. Keep on bonking. <laughs> he said that word. Summer break soon, right? Must be nice being a student. So I looked in the Medjit. Did you find anything? As you know, Medjit is a god that appears in the Egyptian Book of the Dead. It means the smiter. It seems nobody is actually sure the Medjit is a real name. On top of that, almost everything about him is unknown. Even his form is unattainable. Unattainable. An unseen god that flies through the sky and shoots from its eyes. He truly is an elusive being. Dude! Everything about his existence is shrouded in mystery. Wait! Fundamentally speaking, ancient Egyptian art always depicts gods drawn in a side profile. However, Medjet is facing straight ahead in all depictions of him. Taking all of this into account, he seems to be quite the alien being. Let's see. I hope that information was at least somewhat useful. Indeed it was. Shall I look into it more? That's enough, thank you. So, we still don't have any tangible clues. <laughs> I need to talk to you! Hold up. And I normally would go for Chihaya or Akechi, but uh... Hold up. I need to talk to you about something serious. I'm not a maid anymore, but I still want to go to your place. Are you free? You motherfucking right! Let's get it! Thanks, I'll come to your room. Make sure you clean it before I'm ready. Oh my god. It feels weird being here dressed in a normal outfit. Well, I'm completely done with that part-time job. Mm -hmm. Oh, and my students. I've been giving them all a lot of advice. So, um, about that talk we had? You know, about whether or not we should date. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? Really? I really thought it through, though, you know? I was so happy when you shared your feelings the other day. I finally realized how I felt. But... I'm a teacher, and you're my student. It doesn't matter. You're in a tricky situation as it is. If we get caught, suspension would be just the beginning. I'm restraining myself because you're so special to me. <clears throat> Where does that confidence come from? <laughs> ah, why are you so okay with this? Now I feel dumb for trying to back away. I had every intention of saying goodbye to you. Oh, fine. <laughs> There's no time to back now. Would you like a woman like me? You're a high school student with strange tastes. Or is that the sort of thing a member of the Phantom Thieves is into? Yoink! <laughs> Who are you talking about? That whole thing with Takase Kun's guardians worked out way too good for me. And you're the only one who knew about my situation. <laughs> okay, you got me. I haven't lived this long without learning a thing or two, you know. Don't worry, I have no intention of telling anyone. There are a lot of stories about the Phantom Thieves, but in the end, they help people like me, right? That's so you. I just <clears throat> thought you were a problem child with a criminal record, but now I know better. I'll support you 100%. You're not just a student. You're someone special who helped me realize my path as a teacher. A new path where I'll never abandon any of my students.
sounds promising. Right? For my students and for you. I am thou. Thou art turned into a blood oath. Turned a vow into a blood oath. <laughs> Shall become the wings of rebellion and break you love to see it. my heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of temperance, granting thee infinite power. You love to see it, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, let's get it. All right. All right. Arda. Yeah, buddy. Kawakami Special Massage. You now use the phone at LeBlanc at night to ask Kawakami to come and give you a special massage. A special massage will remove exhaustion and allow you to go out at night, even after going to a palace. So I can, I, I can, I can beat Futaba's Palace in one day and be like, hey, you know what I'm saying? And this is the earliest I've ever had this. Life really is a roller coaster, isn't it? I went from being a teacher to being a maid to dating a high school student. So, as someone who went from being my master to my boyfriend, do you have any requests for me? I'll obey them, you know, even though I'm no longer a maid. I want you to relax. Don't be so conceited. You're younger, so you should rely on me. Here. By all means. <clears throat> Looks are so deceiving. I thought you were one of those shy guys who didn't pursue women. Can I stay with you a little bit longer today? Hey, yo. <laughs> Two trophies because of Kawakami. You love to see it. You love to see it. Oh man. What's going on? You've got your share of problems, inmate. To think you would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold or quite or foolish. Or quite, quite foolish. foolish. One with an unseen form. Hmm. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. You may imagine, huh? <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. However, it will soon come to an end, and through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. I wonder what's the soonest you can max out Kawakami, but this is a first time thing, obviously. Like, I didn't get to work on her in the original Persona 5 until September the 1st. And then I maxed her out like chapter. We maxed her out already, which is insane. I didn't think Medjed would pounce on the Phantom Thieves. Interesting things keep happening this year. The influence of the Phantom Thieves knows no bounds. Yes, best. I underestimate <laughs> honestly. I wonder what the public thinks of this. Are they entertained? Or perhaps inconvenienced? <laughs> it could be. How? Entertained, huh? Mm -hmm. Luxury for the uninvolved. I know they mean no ill intent. So this is what the public thinks. Oops. I don't have time for a conversation. My attendance has been poor due to interviews lately. Thank you for your valuable opinion. I'll see you around. Best. I don't get it. There hasn't been any moves on the Phantom Thieves versus Midget showdown. Which one of them will come out on top? Like this man think he playing Street Fighter. Oh, and I, I got it. Obviously, uh, man, you know, I mean, this way back when, you know, like, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's when Street Fighter Five was out. Street Fighter Six is out. You know what I mean? They're both just criminals pretending to be heroes. Wow. If you ask me, Medjay causes way more trouble. They attack every company they set their eyes on. I see. Well, I just hope something happens soon. You gotta tell me, who do you think will win? Hey, your phone was buzzing.
amazing earlier. <coughs> Got a lot of messages from an unknown account. Here we go! Well, nice to meet you. I'm the one that call Ali Baba. I want to ask you something. You're a phantom thief, aren't you? Can you really so hard? Why does he know that you're a phantom thief? Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? <laughs> There's someone whose heart I'd like for you to steal. But I'm not asking for charity. Let's make a deal. You wish to know a midget, right? I can give you information on him if the change is successful. If you so desire, I can take care of them as well. Do you believe in my skills? I can track down you their accounts, just as I have with yours. But this is all I can prove at the moment. I've prepared the necessary tool on my end. Look forward to it. Shouldn't you respond to it? How should I respond? Who is this? I can't find the account to send a response to. All I get is an error message. Hmm? You can't reply back. Correct. Damn. That was an accident. I got auto on. I should have skied. Man. That was pretty bad. We maxed out Kawakami before we went on vacation. That's on. What's happening to this country? It'd be hilarious if they didn't fell off the podium. That's not fucking funny. That shit happened in Final Destination. That's not funny. Well, Final Destination 5. That's not funny. Stupid. Oh, man. Let me calm down. Is it over for the Phantom Thieves? Hacking. I have no idea what that is. That's so funny because in Trails from Zero, hacking is like in that similar state where people don't know what it is and they don't even know it. it's illegal. It's crazy. I think they were getting a little cocky. They got what was coming to them. Are you talking about the Phantom Thieves? Nigga, who are you talking about? Who are you talking about? You better watch out. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? For sure. It seems so. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat log. How careless of us. But how would he have known all these details with just that? Do you think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. That's possible? Don't ask me everything. I told you, I don't, don't know, know much about, about it. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> might this be what is referred to? It? Then, does that mean this guy's a hacker? Girl. I don't get high tech stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. <laughs> is this person measured? I doubt it. Considering he says he wants to Yo, you stay say that off rip. That is. Only if we take his Say, is this person major? Hey, wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, I am not helping anyone of that sort. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. There's no telling when he'll do so, though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act at once. Yeah. So, somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. Hey, my house. How about LeBlanc? Hey. Big group. Good evening. We were thinking about putting together plans for our summer. Hmm. Is that a new face I see? It's nice to meet you. My name is Makoto Nijima. I hope we're not being a bother. She's our student council president. Nijima. Uh -huh. 
Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. A student council president, eh? <laughs> I'm stunned. <coughs> I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. By the way, that was addressed to you. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you. <coughs> all right, the store's all yours. We have late breaking news on Medjit, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. Medjit also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjit as they arrive. Oh, come on! It's in English! <laughs> Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain <laughs> silent at our question. This proves that we are just. Man, I'm shit. People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! Badass. Keep listening. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it Success. says. What does that all mean? They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Perhaps bank accounts or personal information. Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. Uh -huh. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? Don't need any more trouble. <laughs> it's rare for you to get something like this. Mm, yeah. Calling card? Anything else in there? Who's this from, anyway? There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Could it have been Alibaba? Hey, Yusuke, once again, bro! That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by. In case anything comes up. Oh dear. Crazy. <clears throat> really started turning the heat up on the phone up with a special post up and everything. The showdown between the Just Phantom Thieves and the global organization Medjet is here. Reactions have been pretty good too. Everyone's really engaged. So far, most of the comments support Phantom Thieves. Most likely because of what happened in the Kanashira case. Those on the other side say they're midget or hackers of justice. There's no, nothing resembling justice in what they do. Someday I want the whole site to be pro thieves comments. I'm looking forward to that when that day arrives. We can look forward to whatever he wants. We have no means of striking back against Medjet. Morgan is a dick towards machine, and I have no idea why. We're gonna be in deep trouble if we don't do something. First, the Alibaba character, and now a blank calling card. What the fuck is going on? Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and end the episode out here. And when we come back, we will be back with more Persona 5 Royal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but until then, I'll catch you guys later.